Welcome crypto friends and welcome back to MM Crypto. My name is Chris and today we have the second round. We are very, very excited with Da Vinci J15. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for taking your time again. How are you today, Da Vinci? I am great, Chris. Thank you uh, for, for these interviews. I really appreciate it. Man, I, I, I don't deserve this kind of like praise. Everybody's like you do. going crazy <laughs> over me. And I'm just some guy on the internet, really. But you are a great guy on the internet, so you deserve every single bit of your worth and of the attention flowing to you. Because, guys, this interview will have a lifetime full of wisdom again because Da Vinci is speaking. We will have the timestamps in the description down below, but we want to incentivize you. If you can get a lifetime full of wisdom within one video, you should take that opportunity. So today we will talk, uh, talk about nothing else than the breakdown of da vinci's portfolio really be excited guys take a seat it will be very very interesting for for us as well we don't know the answer yet and we will talk about his take on xrp ethereum litecoin and yeah maybe some other altcoins it will be very very interesting guys stay on for that we will also talk about the bitcoin etf about backed um about stos and um, yeah, about um, Bitcoin sidechains, a lot of interesting stuff. Maybe most of you are interested in the portfolio breakdown, but everything will be interesting. So Da Vinci, let's start off with the first question. Um, we will talk about the portfolio in the end. The first question actually is because a lot of people have been asking us. It was literally hundreds of people asking in the comment section in Telegram. So they have been asking um, basically about three different altcoins. and. Um, it will be too much to talk about them, or, uh, about all the aspects of your opinion, but maybe you can wrap it up like in a summary perspective um, the, about the three following altcoins, XRP, Ethereum and Litecoin. What's your take on this three altcoins, Da Vinci? Well, um, maybe I should, uh, I'm like, I've, I've thought about the portfolio thing and I haven't looked at my portfolio in a while and, uh, and it takes a while to load. Maybe I should load that up whilst we're talking, right, about it. Okay. <laughs> okay. And then I can actually possibly send you, like, a, a, a actual photo of the percentage breakdown of everything wow. that I have. Wow. Wow. Because I have on a software system called Coinigy, and it shows me a breakdown. But it just, the, the when I go to that, that page, it takes a while to load. So I, I probably best to, um, to, to bring that up right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyways, what I think about XRP is that it's unfortunately it's a banker coin. It's 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 partially centralized. I don't believe it's even a blockchain. No, no, no. It's no blockchain. We we said it before. Like it's no crypto. Maybe from an investment point of view, okay, and they have a use case now with XRapid, but it is not really crypto, not really blockchain. Sorry, sorry to interrupt you, man. Yeah, no problem, no problem, no problem, because I'm in the middle of just trying to bring that uh, that information. And uh, basically, right, uh, I I know that it's going to be successful, right? Basically, looking at how the people behind it, the uh, the, the banking system are, uh, it really will help them uh, streamline uh, transfers between uh, between banks, and also they're going to be doing. I read that they're going to be doing uh, what's it called um, remittance payments because it's it's a lot faster. The Western Union is going to be starting to use yep. uh, XRP, so it it, it 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 will have its advantages and it will be used in the future. I hope that the public doesn't use it, but you know the the public will use whatever they want to use, and you can't stop them. So. Um, it's it, 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 it's going to do well. It, so uh, I don't know when, and I'm not I'm not making this as a financial advice. So you go run out and buy XRP, right? Uh, please don't do that because you need to know how to trade. You need to know when to buy, when to sell, and all that kind of stuff. So don't run out and buy XRP because you think that it's going up. Um, if you want to go buy it, that's fine. But just any loss is, a, is your decision is, is based on your decisions, right? So you have to accept the losses if you decide to go out and buy it. Exactly. So um, we still have two left, Ethereum and Litecoin. Yeah. What's your take on them? Ethereum is a first to market uh, 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 turn complete cryptocurrency. And, and even though it's not perfect, it, it has a lot of problems. Um, 
it, it's not scalable at the at this moment in time. Uh, it does have market share and mind share, and um, with the advances of other uh, Turing complete uh, systems, uh, I think uh, Vitalik will, he will incorporate the, incorporate those things if he can into the currency in order to make it scale and or he has a, a, his own plan and i think he's a, a super genius yeah i cannot come close to his oh ability. don't say that don't say that <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry that's true that's that is true his abilities he you know what the, the thing is right we're all born with different abilities we're born short we're born tall we're born Slender, we're born handsome, we're born beautiful, we're born different color, different abilities. He has a, a gifted ability of intelligence, and no one should take that away from him. I, we were all born with different abilities, and I was born with this ability too, right? My ability is programming and, uh, you know, understanding how money works, right? And predicting. So that's, and so that's how... That's why I'm very interested in how money works, and I can understand why people would think I'm Satoshi because I'm was, I was interested in, in how money works when I was 11 years old. When I first asked my father why is prices going up, and he told me because of greedy people, and I said that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> and because I thought about the the the, the, uh, the, the how it worked. Well, wait a second, if one person's greedy. The other person can't be greedy. It's fear. He'll He's fearful. Lower price. <laughs> so what's going on? Why would prices, all prices across the board, go up? It doesn't yeah. make any sense that way. And so I, I, I went to library. I remember going to the library trying to find how money works, and there was nothing, nothing. And I didn't understand why there was nothing until until later on in 2008. Yep. When I when I read the creature from Jekyll Island and, and understood that uh, that the, that the bankers they understood that people are the greatest commodity on this planet and if you educate them in a certain way they will believe that and nothing else yeah and so they controlled education one way or another either through um, grants and, and and paying out the universities or Through the government, right? So they they educate you in the wrong way in money, uh, like when it comes to money, they educate you in the wrong way, basically. Yeah. Okay, so um, maybe quick summary on your take on Litecoin, because surprisingly there were a lot of comments on Litecoin. Until um, before we go to the next question. Okay. Well, before we finish up, uh, before we go on to Litecoin, yeah. So that's why I'm a little afraid of uh, XRP because people, the bankers are going to educate people on XRP that this is the way, this is a blockchain, this is the new new currency, and it's a big trap. It's a huge trap for for digital money people who believe in digital money. And I hope I hope uh, people, we, you, and I can uh, educate the public on which way to go, and and yep. they decide. Uh, and they agree with us because I don't want them to to just uh, listen to us and, and do what do what we say. I want them to understand what we say and agree and believe in it or not believe in it, and it's up to them. Yeah. And 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 and, and make the right choices. And I hope I hope they make the right choices, but I can't force them to make the right choice. Uh, going on to Litecoin, um, I think Litecoin is pretty much just a copycat of. Bitcoin and I and it it, it it works they are they are improving it they're moving it along it's just that it's 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 not it's not anything special it has nothing different yep. than Bitcoin has there's, there's, there's just nothing there other than it, it does the exact same thing it has the same lightning network works on lightning network as well it has all the same features as Bitcoin so What is the value add? I think the only I mean, thing was maybe testing um, SegWit and Lightning in the mainnet before testing it on Bitcoin. Maybe that was uh, a good use case for Litecoin. But besides that, four times faster blocks and so on. So there is no big value add in Litecoin. Yes, um, 
can agree on that. But on an ethical way, it is um, more, much more ethical than a lot of other altcoins out there, um, especially on that ICO funded altcoins. But um, yeah. I agree with that because it's just another. It's, it's, it works exactly like Bitcoin, but um, it, it's. I'm, I'm just wondering where where does it uh, where does it fit in in its own niche, right? When it comes to to going forward, and you could say, well, it's the uh, silver to to Bitcoin gold, right? And yeah, okay, but Bitcoin, it doesn't really matter because it's digital money. It doesn't matter matter how much you've got because you could divide it in infinite. Even though yeah. like right now it's only eight decimal places, it can be divided divided infinitesimally. Yeah. We could we can survive on just one Bitcoin, really, because this is digital money. It has no limit to the divisibility, really. Yeah, I mean, there's the Satoshi, but in, in the Lightning Network, we can even divide Satoshi. So yeah, um, really, really agree on that point. Um, yeah, thank you sorry. so much for wrapping that up. Oh, sorry. Any addition yeah, so to that? I just, I just, I hope they, they the, uh, the people behind uh, Litecoin carve out their own niche and go in their own direction and then it will provide some value to the market really. Mm -hmm. So yeah, thank you so much. We hope that answered a lot of your question, guys out there, XRP, Ethereum and Litecoin, your take on that. So um, we have another question coming up. Just wanted to ask for security purposes. Did you already manage to load your um, portfolio? I mean, no one is no, looking I, at, I, no I, one I is looking at the portfolio. I just forgot to load that. Hang on, hang on. Let me... Yeah, no problem. <laughs> To, to be honest, guys, let us know in the comment section, are you looking um, like every hour, every day or every week to your portfolio? And I mean, if we asked that question last year in December, the people would say like every five minutes and now it's like one times a day or so. I haven't looked in like several months. Jeez. Wow, for real? <laughs> yeah, for real. For real. That's hodling, <laughs> man. That's hodling. But um, so maybe, maybe we... <laughs> <laughs> Several months. Exactly. I didn't expect that. Um, yeah, maybe we go to the to the I, next I question. It's, it's because it's not because I'm hodling. It's only because uh, I'm so busy trying to build this Pandora's wallet that I I didn't even have time to trade. Yeah. Uh, of the the different coins that I have, and I I feel bad because like a lot of people are are, are looking to me for answers on when it comes to. Um, what are you buying? What are you buying? And stuff like that. And I used to like post that a lot on the Twitter. Oh, I'm buy I got this. I've got the. I got these um, coins. And yeah, it's taking a while to load right now, and yeah. um, we're just gonna have to wait. But uh, but yeah, I, I haven't been. I haven't been buying, and I feel like I should get on that, right? Because <laughs> like the people want to see it. To buy. This is the time to buy. You know what? We're not gonna call them the 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 what they use s s HIT coins anymore. We're going to call them <laughs> second tier coins. I want to change that vernacular. That was a good so one. That, so the market can take us seriously. Let's call them second tier coins. Yeah. Yeah, we can we can be more respectable. You know what I mean? Because like, yeah, yeah, this because uh, like we, we we want we do want the 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 larger market to help uh, bring in liquidity. Right, even though it will eventually um, bring in uh, what's it called derivatives and help and, and prevent the market from from going up in astronomical terms, but between the point where we are right now and where we're going to be when finally those guys are fully in, the prices are going to be astronomical. Yeah, bananas, like you said, bananas. <laughs> yes. yes agree so um maybe maybe while it's loading and loading and it's keep loading um, we go to the next question actually um and this one is about the bitcoin etf and backed coming up so um what's your take actually on the bitcoin etf and backed and all those financial instruments out there do you think it will be important or it will improve somehow the bitcoin ecosystem um but at least will it be important for the Bitcoin, Bitcoin ecosystem or for the prices at least? Um, and will it trigger the bull market or do you think that it will not trigger it at all and it won't be um, any any kind of um, 
of importance for the ecosystem. Sorry, sorry, the back thing. Uh, the well, back and the Bitcoin ETF. Yeah. I believe when it comes out, I think Bitcoin will probably. When, when, when's the date that they said they're going to have back, backed out? Um, backed. So it, it, it was in December, but they delayed it to January, I think, mid of yeah. January. Yeah. Perfect. Oh my God. They timed it perfectly. Really? They timed it perfectly. Oh no. Guys, we have a new theory here. Yes. Yes, they timed it perfectly. Oh my God. So right now we're in a dead cat bounce. This dead cat bounce is probably going to go on for a little while. And, and it, when that comes out, that will be the rollover of the dead cat bounce. Oh my God. To go, to so go good. further lower? Yeah. Yes. Oh man. Okay. They timed it perfectly. Because what happens is, um, generally is, um, in, in the market is there's a saying, right? You, you buy on rumor and sell on fact. Yeah. Right. And so it, it, whether or not back is pushing this dead cat bounce or um, just the, the, the what's it called short uh, what's it called short squeeze that's happening in the market, it really doesn't matter. Uh, either way, what's going to happen when back comes out, all the institutional players, they're going to be selling the announcement of back and pulling the price down. Wow. And then the what's going to happen is the the weekends are going to be selling the market all the way down past probably even past three thousand. They might break the three thousand dollar mark on the first try because of that because of the uh, because there's going to be just too many people like going rah rah new bull market yeah 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 <laughs> and they're going to be buying into that. And then when it rolls over, they're not going to have the strong enough hands to 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 um, to to keep the keep their their bitcoins, and they're going to sell yeah. right into the right into the the hands of the institutions, which are buying below three thousand. Okay, guys. So we have here really, really a crazy prediction. Um, let's wait for that day to come. It will be very interesting if that will be on spot as well. But it really makes sense what you are saying. It really, really makes sense in regards to the timing and in regards to um, the market sentiment that they want to push it um, even further in the dead cat bounce maybe to levels like close to 6,000. I don't know. And as you said, after that dead cat bounce, we might see prices like even nearby a thousand dollars so let's wait on that that will be very very interest interesting to uh, see thank you so much for this if exciting you want, um, if you want i can give you an estimate price on where the dead cat bounce should be at um i please. can show you like on the charts uh can i send you a photo and you can show the, the pub yeah. people the photo yeah sure just no? just um send it and i will hold it in the cam or so with the, with the... the okay so let's uh, this first uh, let me just copy and uh, let me see here copy and or we uh, make a temporary portfolio first or we right. make a temporary uh, screen share what a screen share maybe screen share well i don't want to screen share my portfolio ah. because it just provides too much information okay okay um, so i'm just screen i'm just going to paste in a, a photo uh, let's see here. To Telegram let's see. would be best. In, no, in, 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 into, into the, uh, the, the Skype. Can you ah, do okay. that? I can yes. do it in Telegram if you want. No, do, uh, Skype is okay. I will okay. open it on the phone. So that's my portfolio. You can do save that for last. And if you want, we can do, I could, guess I could do a screen share wow. of where the market's going to go, where I estimate where I'm Keep in mind, this is just based on probabilities. Can I do a screen share here? Uh, yeah, on, you can do it. There's on the bottom, you can make a plus and then um, yes. share screen. Share screen, okay. Can you see my screen now? Um, not yet, but maybe in a second. Okay. How, how about now? What do you see? Ah, uh, yeah, we can see it, yes. No, you can't see it? Yeah, we, okay, we can see everything, fine. yes. Okay. Uh, sorry, this is I know this is start recording screen. The plus sign is uh, snapshot old. No, we, we can we can see the yeah, we can see the share. share. Yes, we can see it. Okay, so we what are you can seeing see right now. Um, are you Kornigi. seeing Kornigi. You're seeing Kornigi right now? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna make this full screen because perfect. Is that better? Yeah, it's perfect. We can see everything. Okay, so you can see the screen. I'm gonna um, 
put on some charts here, and I'm just going to quickly That's show amazing. you. Yeah, we got here. We got. The, I'm going to do the dailies because that's what we really care about. And um, now, here's the thing, right? Um, if we just do a fib retracement, Bitcoin loves sixty-one point eight. I think because there's this this dead cat bounce has a little bit more power to it, and there's there's pretty much dead air here. I think we're gonna get to the seventy-eight point six right around here. If we look back, if we go look left, you always look left, right, to see where you can see that there's a lot of people trapped, a lot of uh, 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 bulls trapped up here. And if we get to this price, they're gonna be going, oh, thank you God, I'm gonna sell, I'm never gonna buy bitcoins again. Yeah. And so on top of that, the institutions are going to be selling on top here. They're going to be probably selling at 61.8, but that I think Bitcoin has enough enough bull power to get up here. And, and this is where you would want to, if you're interested in selling some Bitcoin and getting out, right here in this um, red box is your selling box right here. Is This is called the reload zone. Uh, thank, actually, Brian Breamish, the person who taught me how to trade, he called this the real zone. It's actually called by most traders the trade location. But Brian Breamish calls it the reload zone. It's where you reload your shorts if you're short, and then green boxes if you want to do it the opposite, because this works in the opposite direction as well. But uh, we'll, we're, we're talking about uh, uh, going short here. Um, this is a reload zone for getting into shorts and anywhere in here, if you want to get out, that will be the prime place to get out and probably that's going to happen sometime in January. This is probably going to be slow move up here. We're probably just going to bounce around here or something like that. I don't know. That's complete guess exactly what's going to happen. And same with this. This might not get up here. It might just roll over now. I am just making a, a guess here based on a chart analysis. Funny, funny story is, say yeah. it should be back. If let's just take a look at the time frame. Do you know the exact date of the back? Unfortunately, the not at the moment. And um, they po postponed it. Let me just check here in the. If you could look at that up, we could put a marker and we can see, we can, we can figure out exactly how this is going to play out or not exactly, but we could, we could predict. How 24th, going to play out 24th of January. 24th. Oh, yes. Look at that. That's right into the, the Davos. That's perfect. Uh, that, that's oh. that's within the World Economic Forum. Yeah, exactly. And the exactly. blockchain park event. Yes, very nice. You can expect also um, the the uh, the government uh, government officials to uh, start saying uh, bad things about Bitcoin into that Davos event as well. Um, that uh, World Economic Ooh. Forum. Because they, because it's, it's just with it's exactly with the horizontal line, vertical line right here. So the twenty fourth is right here. So, so yeah, I think we could probably get into that area for the twenty fourth, because right now, I mean, normally Bitcoin moves really, really, really fast, but now that institutions are in it, I think they they might be slowing this thing down a bit. And they might get this into the, the Davos, and that's somewhere around here. It's into the World Economic Forum. They're gonna roll this thing over. So let's see. I mean, I, I, it, it's a guess. It 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 might be. It really fits into yeah. the narrative of of this whole story, man. It um, exactly. It will be very interesting, and um, yeah, maybe we will watch the markets with a beer or so um, in Davos at the World Economic Forum. So. That will be very, very interesting to see. Um, thank you, Da Vinci, for that outlook, guys. I think that question should be answered for you as well at the moment. So BECT might not be very, very supportive for the Bitcoin price. Um, as you also said, the ETF might come up when we hit the all-time high. Um, BECT might come up when we hit the high of the dead cat bounce. So this is will be very, very interesting. Sa thank you so much for answering that question. So. Um, Anything can happen, honestly, really. Yeah. Um, we also, we um, 
want to talk about the portfolio breakdown, but maybe let's do that after the next question. Um, let's talk before, because a lot of people are interested in SDO security token offerings right now. Maybe we can talk about SDOs right now and whether you think it will um, support a new capital inflow in the market, or do you think that it will actually have um, no impact at all? Well, obviously it's going to have an impact, impact in the market uh, over time. Uh, just not right away. It's just this is new technology. They're going to move slow. They're going to move into this because it does. It's it does. It is a huge improvement in securities because right now there's a lot of issues with securities. With, uh, for example, uh, uh, stock. A lot of uh, companies have more stock available than they actually issued. Mm -hmm. You're like, what? What do you mean they? There's more stocks available than what they issued. How does that work as well? Because with short selling, the way it works is that you have to borrow the stock in order to, to sell it. Yeah. And what they tend to do is say that, you know what, we're going to get this stock sometime, but you can go sell it right now. And you sell into the stock, into the market, a stock that doesn't exist. And sometimes they fail to get the stock and that and eventually ends up having more that creates more stock into the market than there actually is yeah and there, that's a huge huge problem in the market in the stock market because it really suppresses the price of, of, of good companies yeah and um yeah it was very great that you mentioned that it improves the stocks but it actually not really improves the crypto ecosystem but it improves the stocks so um this is very very um good to mention and um, yeah, so there might be an, 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 um, a wave in the market, but I mean, most of that ICOs will accept not only Bitcoin, but also fiat for their, uh, for their funding. So I think um, SDOs might be even more like a but hedge SDOs in the crypto stocks, portfolio. Really. Yeah, it, them, it, it, it is stocks, yes. It's like a securities. dividend. And what are securities? There are stocks. So yeah. basically they're promised to give you some sort of uh, equity either uh, earnings per share or you're helping to to uh, fund that company and and you're trying to get growth based on uh, the, the company's success and so either way they're they they, they function as stock because you're yes. funding the company exactly yes um, I think the only the, there will be an improvement for the for the stocks because I don't know you can trade it easier and more easy and more efficient exactly. but yeah but but that's about it and in a crypto portfolio it is more like a hedge to the crypto positions because um I, I i'm not sure how it will correlate with the crypto market but it might not correlate too much because the value actually comes from the re revenue of the business for example or the worth of the business and that is actually not really attached to the bitcoin and blockchain ecosystem but uh, yeah thanks you so much yeah thank you so much for that view we are on the same page right here so that's perfect yeah. Um, so the next one is um, second layer solutions and guys promise afterwards we will talk about the portfolio promise so first of all before we go to the um, portfolio breakdown we want to ask you what do you think about second layer solutions like um, lightning network for example and do you think that they will solve some problems bitcoin has and will make the altcoin um, section in the end maybe in vain in some kind of scenario out there second layer solutions is uh, basically uh, like the invention of bitcoin it's very new we don't know what's going to happen and they're very promising, right? That means, I, I, in my, and what that means is that I think they're going to do well. It's just that we need more, we need different types of solutions, second layer solutions, more than just Lightning Network mm -hmm. to, to, um, to help uh, cryptocurrencies uh, basically expand and allow more people to actually purchase them without higher fees. And Lightning Network is a good start. I don't know if it's the right solution, but I'm I, I am happy to, to to try it out and and support the Lightning Network. And uh, and you know what? I I'll, I'll be honest. I feel bad because I haven't looked at the source code of Lightning Network yet because I'm so busy with my company, and I want to. I so badly want to look very closely because I have a ton of questions about the lightning network 
yeah. but are not can only be answered correctly by looking at the source code because every time I ask, I don't get the right answer, and so I know that the answer is in the source code. So I, I want to know, for example, okay, well you got watchdogs, for example, to make sure that no one cheats the system. Okay, great. Who watches the watchdogs? Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> there, there, there has to be someone watching the watchdogs, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, uh, you could have like what could happen is right. you could have a bad watchdog actor and a bad actor who's trying to cheat the system yeah. co uh, coordinating together. Right. So I want to see if 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 the software uh, compensates for that. Yeah. And that's why I'm a little, little leery about uh, uh, a Lightning Network until I, I look directly at the source code. And then I can really say for sure that this is, this is a, a valid system. I can imagine you will get an answer right now. You are much more influential right now. So maybe you will get your answer right now. You should try again. You should try and ask them again. Um, but yes. yeah. Thank you so much for your insight. And um, if you don't get an answer again, we will throw our whole community on them and force them to give you an answer. So we will get oh, finally. Like, I really need to have a lot. I have a, lot, a ton of questions that I need yes. answered. Guys, we have so many viewers on the last video. This video will hopefully get a lot of viewers again. If you are watching that, let's wait for his take. If he's not getting an answer, we will make them answer him. So thank you so much. And now we can finally talk about something everyone is asking for about your portfolio breakdown. You have actually already sent me a photo of that, but I'm, I don't really want to show it because you can kind of see the total amount of your, of your portfolio in Bitcoin. And I, I, for security purposes, I'm not sure if we should dis disclose that. So do you have maybe... Uh, don't worry about it. It's all right. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Um, let me just check it. Because you just said a few few days back, um, you sat down with Andreas because Antonopoulos. Not, it fluctuates all over the freaking place. So, I mean, it's yeah. not real. It's not a real so, number for me anymore. Yeah. Uh, how 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 can we understand that? Meaning but, that, I mean, the number of bitcoins I have doesn't really matter because it fluctuates like crazy. Because of the altcoin but, part in your uh, exactly because uh, there's a large altcoin part portion it is actually oh yeah is that us dollar yes you have so much US. whoa you have been timing the market crazily so let me yes, just I've been in US dollars for quite some time let me just uh, do that whoa this will be very hard um so that guys uh you can see all the different, all those, those different colors are different. Options, yes, it's right? so many of them. And look at that. Yeah. It's, uh, we, we will. Is, is ether and uh, the green one. This, I don't know what that green one is. I, I have to, I have to go over it. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, there's like a large uh, percentage of uh, only a few coins, not a lot, right? So I don't have a large percentage. It's only dollars right now. Because yeah. Because Bitcoin has been going down, so I've been I've been waiting for the time the market to to buy. Sixty two percent in US dollar, guys. So this guy has been timing the market crazily. And you plan to go in below three thousand again? Oh yeah, the green one is actually BTC. Ah, so <laughs> wow, you you only have like six percent or so in BTC at the moment, and sixty two percent in US dollar. Yeah, exactly. I wow. have a very small percentage in Bitcoin right now crazy um yeah, well, you, gotta, you gotta time the market right because that's i mean you can you can stay you can you can stay in bitcoin to hold auto to the to the bottom right but honestly if you want to make money that's not a good idea yes okay it's very and you plan to go back with um let's say you have like 62 percent of us dollar you plan to go back with that amount of money into bitcoin again once we hit that um, low, you talked about maybe nearby a thousand dollars in the worst case. Yeah, I'm actually going to start scaling in after under three thousand dollars. Wow, crazy! So, guys, um, we can imagine this will be some serious numbers. It's, you have been great at market timing in the in the past, but for everyone out there, 
Um, please do your own research still. Nevertheless, Da Vinci, you had a very great track record, but it's very important that you guys do your own research. But it's crazy to see that you pulled that amount of money out and actually are planning to go back in. So let's, uh, what was the selling price, if I might ask, of your of your Bitcoin, the volume rated, weighted average selling price? It was 17,000. For real? Yeah. <laughs> so you sold at, at 17,000 and then you might be going back at, um, I don't know, maybe 2,000 or so. Yeah, so in, it, the three th in the 2,000 areas. Eight folding your Bitcoin, actually, within yeah. a year or one and a half. Crazy. Yeah, I know uh, there, there is a possibility that could go to a, a thousand, but I'm willing to risk the losses below that. Yeah, so or cost average and also. One of the things that I learned about trading, right, is that you leave the last 10% for somebody else. Yeah. So that's crazy. Um, maybe we, we saw we saw the 62% of US dollar. We saw the around about 6% in Bitcoin. And we saw a lot of small numbers like 0.5%, 0.1%, 0.02%. Maybe you can break down just like five, six, seven, eight, nine or so of your biggest altcoin um, holdings, even though they are not as big as... Um, as of the um, in percentage terms of many as of many of the viewers out there but um yeah even though us dollar bitcoin is the biggest part what are your favorite or the, your biggest positions in altcoins my biggest position in altcoins um well it's ethereum of course and bitcoin well bitcoin first and then ethereum is another huge position um uh, another position, large position, is is uh, um, what's it called? Um, Dash, and I don't see it here. Dash, yes, large position here. Wow, I mean, I haven't noticed this. I have a huge position in NEU. What the freak? I gotta sell that crap. <laughs> <laughs> is it a big position? <laughs> yeah. What the? What the hell is that? If we could short sell it, I, I would go now to the exchange and short sell before you are selling, but you cannot short sell that. I don't know what it is, but guys, just to show you the breakdown again, look at that many small portfolio parts. And um, he's actually still saying that um, it's a big amount of money in that. So which color is that? Which one? Which color is it you are talking about? The, NEU? The... NEU is uh, the, the blue one. Right. Uh, let, me, let me see the, the chart again. Uh, it's the yeah, it's the bottom blue, light, light, light blue one. I'm like, what the? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Not too bad. It's a big position, and so so you should get position. And what? You that's you a crap. That that is the second. That's that's a third tier coin. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what the hell? Crazy. So do you have maybe some other positions you want? You you really are um yeah. You, you are standing behind them, some positions, maybe not an accident like that. Yeah, some I other have like... a lot of accidents like that. Like, I remember having a one coin where I had like uh, um, 150 Bitcoins worth of it, only because I totally forgot about it. <laughs> <laughs> but I, the market didn't have enough liquidity to sell at that price. Da so. Vinci. <laughs> It's crazy. So, um, are there any positions you stick to, and you you are you you are standing behind them? We can see here are a lot of positions. Maybe you can break down the top five of the biggest positions because the very small ones we can we we don't have to talk. I mean, it's like hundred different coins. We don't have to talk about all of them. Or maybe it's some content for the next episodes. But maybe now we can um, concentrate on like the five biggest positions besides US dollar, Bitcoin, and that third tier coin <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly i mean there's a lot of good coins out there and i can't believe i had so much of that that third tier coin oh my god i'm like i'm i'm, I'm embarrassed <laughs> yeah no problem no problem <laughs> yeah but you know it happens sometimes i uh i forget that i have this coin and, and then the sell order didn't then like i have like i have set sell orders for certain coins and and I think because it was on Bitrex or something like that, it, they expire. Oh, the, seller, the seller expired, and I didn't uh, renew it, and something like that happened. And yeah. that's happened before to me a lot of, of 
quite a few times where I, and then I end up with a huge chunk of my portfolio with this one coin I'm like what the heck <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy so yeah. um are there are there any any altcoins you you are holding in your portfolio you you would like to talk about like maybe five other positions be besides the three positions we are talking uh, we were talking about before you know i'm not i'm not in love with any particular cryptocurrency and i swear to god only bitcoin cannot, no, yeah exactly yeah. it's i don't have a, 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 a <clears throat> there are coins that i like for example i prefer i would hope dash become successful because i like how it's organized is it in your portfolio uh, sorry is dash also in your portfolio yes it is, ah, yes, it is. okay i have quite a bit of dash and um and I, i i also like how steam works right it's just that i don't think that it'll do very well because it it, it it they produce a lot of coins but i do like their system and and i hope that other people produce more systems like steam maybe something different and because we need to get away from uh, uh, centralized uh, uh, media outlets like yes. Facebook and and, uh, and 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 Reddit and so forth, they, because they're centralized. I mean, they, they can control the content. Yeah. I prefer someplace where the content is not controlled. Exactly, and also you talked about BitTube. So now we have um, yeah. we have Bitcoin, um, US dollar, obviously Bitcoin, US dollar, um, BitTube dash steam it so besides that coins we already know are there maybe some other coins we can mention in this episode because a lot of people have been asking that um which are included here in this portfolio just maybe we can name a few of them is it possible i'm afraid to because like you know what i don't know what's going to happen and i ah. don't want people to run out I don't and know. buy them because you yeah. have such a small percentage of them, right? It's very important, like guys. Them. Yes, so, sorry. It's very good that you mentioned that. This should not be taken as financial advice. Let's say Da Vinci has 0.01% of his worth allocated to that specific position he is naming. That does not mean you should run out there and put like 10% of your portfolio in it. I mean, it's crazy. Um, it's a big, all that altcoins are big risk positions and it should not be exactly. considered as a buying um, buying call right now, If only if we are talking about that. So, um, exactly. very, very but important, a, guys. Yes. With that said, if, you, if you're not going to run out and buy... Don't do that. Really? I mean, promise. It's, it's so small percentage of your portfolio. Yes, with that being said, exactly. sorry. I can tell you coins that I like. I like um, NEOs. It's really on its knees right now, and I I, I like what the I li like what they were doing in the past. I don't I haven't caught up with if they're still uh, building the same amounts. Right? I lost the yeah, I, I didn't catch up to see if they're still building the system, and I should look into that before I uh, I I'm, I probably will look into that before I, I allocate more because I want to. Um, and I also like. Um, What's it? Oh Jesus! I had a I had a coin on mine, but now I, I you know what? I just I like so many coins. <laughs> okay, ring. Oh yes, rep rep coin rep. That's it. Rep. Even though it's the idea is like failed so far, I think it still has merit. How is it spelled? Reputation. It's called. Um, let me let me let me look up the the name here. It's called Augur. Augur, yeah, I, Augur. yeah, it's a it's very old project. It's one of the I first like ERC twenty tokens. It hasn't done very well, the project, but I like what they were trying to accomplish with it. And so far, you know, the price is on his knees, and I think it's a good buy here down here. If if you want to put like, you know, ten bucks on it, <laughs> yeah. go right ahead. But don't do something like put a thousands of dollars on yes. that on that third tier coin. Please don't <laughs> do that. <laughs> I mean, the, the, the narrative is very nice. Their platform is nice. The prediction markets. The only problem is maybe that um, that not a lot of people are using it, but um, really agree on that point. And it is a mature project, at least. And you cannot say that a lo about a lot of projects out there. So maybe we um maybe two or three other ones and then we can wrap it up then we are completely done with that episode and I, and 
everyone will be satisfied, I guess. Okay, uh, let's see here. There is a let. I wonder what Rads is doing. R A D S. R A D S. Let's see here. It's it was another one of those coins that I that I I was interested in getting, and yeah, it's it's really gone down on on Bitrex. I've made quite a few buy orders, and and along the way as it's gone down, and I have uh, quite a bit of that Rads. Not a huge amount of my portfolio. Um, but uh, you know, it's one of those one of those things. I mean, it, it, it's going to probably take a while before if Rads if R A D S does does continue to function and is uh, does well. I think they they will they'll stay at this low price for a while for, for maybe another year or two. But and you could if you want to trade day trade it, you could make some money. But if you want to do it my little lady style where you sell half on double, you're probably going to be waiting quite some time to, in order to make some money on on this uh, this particular coin. And and that's only on the basis if they continue to produce their product and help uh, support their product. Yeah. And you don't you just don't know, right? So so you can't you can't bet the farm on these things. Okay. At all. Never. Okay. Never. Yeah, you is, and you, uh, you shouldn't uh, you shouldn't. So, sorry. The pot stocks, the pot coin currencies, they have a little bit of a problem since it, um, um, pot is now legal in, in in Canada, and there's a lot of pot stocks to purchase. But these coins are are different in the sense that uh, you can use them to purchase uh, 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 cannabis, and uh, I, I don't see anything wrong with people smoking cannabis because. It's not fair that the government can decide what you can put in your body, and you know what, cannabis doesn't isn't like alcohol where people can get, go yeah. and, and 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 kill somebody else when they drink too much. When you smoke too much, you don't want to do anything. Yeah, <laughs> and and to <laughs> except of chilling or sleeping or so, you know. <laughs> so it's pretty. Pretty benign drug. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, uh, and it uh, forbidding those kind of things doesn't really fit to the blockchain narrative. So um, we we don't want to make it political here on our channel, but really, really get your point on that one. Yes. So it's Podcoin Reds. Um, you you named another another um, third tier coin before. Which one was it? Reds Podcoin. Uh, uh, Augur. Augur. Yeah. Augur. Yeah. Uh, Augur Rep. REP, um, Steemit, um, Bit Bitube, Bitcoin, and you have a big portion of US dollar in your portfolio. So all of that positions will maybe make up like 70% already of your portfolio. And to name everything would take way too much time, guys. So we hope you forgive us that we don't put all that 100 coins he's holding out there um, into consideration. Especially when 70% is, um, is Bitcoin and US dollar, it makes no sense to go in depth into everything. But we hope um, yeah, you appreciate Da Vinci revealing some of his positions to us. So thank you so much for that. And um, yeah, finally, the question is answered and the people saw that picture of your portfolio distribution because basically um, most of the people didn't even know, are you holding 100% of Bitcoin? Are you holding just a small part? Now everyone knows your big um, exposure is in US dollar. Second one, um, Bitcoin. And the re uh, remaining stuff is the coins we mentioned. So that was a big insight for us. Thank you so much for that. Yeah, no problem. And you know what? If people say, well, what happens if Bitcoin goes up? You know what? I'll be so happy if Bitcoin goes up because I will be buying at a higher price, but it won't matter because I already sold at a extremely high price. I'll be buying, let's just say Bitcoin, I'm completely wrong. And next year, Bitcoin goes to 6,000 and passes the $6,000 mark, uh, like really hard. And I will be buying at that point, um, I'll spend taking all my USD and going in because that is a, that is a, a resistance level that's very, very strong. I don't see Bitcoin passing that resistance level in the next year, but if it ha if it just if some crazy event happens, like for example the US dollar collapses, it will pass the sixty five hundred dollar mark like it was nothing. Yeah. And uh, and that's that's a buying indicator right there. 
you will Don't still have like tripled your bitcoin you will yeah. still have tripled your bitcoin like doubled yeah. or tripled your bitcoin yes so yeah, um because i already made profit on bitcoin yeah. i'm not trying to like <clears throat> trying to get the last every last cent out of the the, the bitcoin profits right? yes i'm i'm just trading but looking at your track record, the odds are not too bad towards you um, that you might get cheaper prices. Your track record of predicting the future of Bitcoin has been very great in the past. So, um, yeah, even though we wish the price to go up, we still wish you all the best with your portfolio and all the best with your opportunity to buy back in, even though we want to, the price obviously to, um, to soar. But um, yeah, that being said, thank you so much for uh, answering all our questions. Um, I think you will go to eat something right now. So thank you so much for taking your time again, coming back to our channel for the second episode of Da Vinci J15 and MM Crypto. Maybe we will see each other in Switzerland in January at the World Economic Forum. That would be actually very, very great. So thank you so much for being here and answering all the questions. Um, anything you want to say in the end before we wrap up this episode? Yes, I, I would like uh, if, if anybody wants to help me, uh, de uh, like basically try out my software. It's very, very green. <laughs> Pandora's wallet. I would appreciate any help that, uh, that uh, your viewers can provide. If you just head over to www.pandoraswallet.com, it says that we're uh, that our, our our beta will be available on the 15th but it's ready now you can actually download the software you could actually try it out um just make sure you back up your wallet your private keys because if you lose your private keys if you make sure you back up both the uh, 12 word uh, password and the file itself and because then if we have that we can uh, if something goes terribly wrong we can get your coins no problem and help you get your coins no problem so if you just uh, give that a shot um, we we really appreciate it um, we're, we're working really hard all the time this is why I, I know I promised my viewers that I was going to do a video but I'm constantly working trying to uh, to get Pandora's wallet up to the, the up to par where I'm happy with it and and so uh, that's what I'm doing right now and everything else is basically taking a backseat to that. Exactly. So Except we will put... You, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and MM Crypto, the whole team. Thank you so much yeah. for taking your time and um, yeah, helping us to create content with your valuable stuff and with your words of wisdom. We will put the link of Pandora's wallet also in the comment section and in the description. Um, please, guys, everyone who is willing to use your brain power to support his project, it's the same brain power we need for the Bitcoin protocol. The more people who help him, the better it is in the end. So thank you so much for bringing that up as well. We will put the links in the description down below. And um, it is pandaraswallet.com, I think, .com. Yes. yes. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for ask, uh, answering all that questions. That being said, guys, make sure you smash the like button. You leave your comments to um, in the comment section down below or your questions to Da Vinci, to us, to everyone. Leave it in the comment section and we will definitely answer all that comments within 24 hours, like we did with the 500 comments in the last video as well. So thank you so much. Make sure, sure you subscribe to our channel and more important to Da Vinci's channel. Thank you so much for coming back to our channel and see you next time at the next episode of MM Crypto. My name is Chris from MM Crypto. Thank you so much and bye bye.